Now to Iran, a country that made a bold announcement today with nuclear talks, critical nuclear talks, just days away. Iran now saying it has found significant new deposits of raw uranium and has identified sites for 16 more nuclear power stations. With the U.S. team on its way to these talks, which start in Kazakhstan on Tuesday, the State Department is saying it still believes there is a diplomatic solution to be had. Once again tonight, we have an ABC News exclusive, David Muir, inside that secretive country at a crucial point in this nuclear impasse. David. Dan, good evening. Many of the Iranians we've talked with said they hope for a break in the impasse, particularly the young voices here. Tonight, you'll hear from them and what they would say to President Obama. The Iranian government allowing us into Tehran. Just three days now until those crucial talks over Iran's nuclear program. And as we've explored the city all this week, we have been struck by the young voices here. Walking past a school, we notice the children are speaking English. We enter the schoolyard and the building where they take lessons. This mother telling us her son will need English when he grows up. But we wondered if she believes it will be any different. Do you hope for your son a better relationship between Iran and America? She tells me, God willing, that will happen. As class lets out, the students swarm our cameras. They have never met a reporter from America. Do you think that Iran and America will get along? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Do you hope for it? Yes. Yes. How would you describe America in one word? Very good country. Very good country? Powerful. Powerful. Modern. Powerful. Yes, Modern. powerful. They are young, but this boy is not naive. He tells me he's aware of the economic sanctions led by the U.S. Lots of people in Iran are under pressure of uh, economic, economic pressure. Yeah. You're feeling the economic pressure. Yes. And it's not just the young boys here who share their opinions. As we traveled through the city to the markets, there was this mother who turned to her daughter to speak for both of them when we asked about the sanctions. The pressure all, is all to the people. The people of Iran, the families of Iran. Yes. As we journeyed through the city, we heard welcome to Iran too many times to count. On the subway, there was this boy with the Yankees cap, and we could hear the music from his headphones. And here, this is Enrique Iglesias, all the way here in, in Tehran. Which brings us back to that school. They had so many questions for me. Do you see American Idol? Do I see American Idol? Yes. Have you seen American Idol? Yes. Who is, who is your favorite contestant on American Jennifer Idol? Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Oh, she's a judge. <laughs> but even amidst all the laughter, they know our countries have not gotten along since before they were born. What would you say to President Obama? Be friendly, be more friendly with Iran. And from the father waiting to pick up his son, a different view. All of these young boys want Iran to be friends with America one day. Does that surprise you? No, I don't. You don't? No. Do you think it's a generational difference? Yes. Yes. Ready? Which is likely why it was only the children who asked for pictures as we left. ABC is blocked on the internet here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have okay. a good night. When we travel the world, it's no surprise it's often the children with the most optimistic view. Early next week, there will be six nations at one table, including the U.S. and Iran, and the children here that we met waiting to see if there will be any chance for a different future for them.